welcome back Amiibros and Amigals. I am super excited to show you guys this tutorial. It is very simple, so if you've never made a custom Amiibo, this is one of the perfect tutorials that you can definitely start off with. So if you're interested in Nerdy DIYs, definitely subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So like I said, this is a very simple custom Amiibo tutorial, and if you've never made a custom Amiibo, I would definitely start off with something like this. Like many other people in the community, I definitely fell in love with Bowset. Let me know in the comments below if you like Bowset or if there's another character I should definitely make. As usual, all the materials used in this video will be down below in the description, including my social media links, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you happen to make any nerdy DIYs, definitely send me pictures and I can share it with the rest of the Amiibros. Whenever you're making a custom Amiibo, practically all you're doing in the first step is removing what you don't need. After you're done removing everything that you don't need, you go and add everything that you do need. That includes using clay. The clay that I use is a two-part resin. It hardens like cement. However, the drying time is about two hours, so it takes a while, but it'll stick onto the figurine. I used the two-part resin clay to make her horns because I knew that it needed to be sturdy, and then I also included that little bubble that's in her tiara. It's good to do your own research just in case if there's other types of clay that you want to use because certain types of clay work best in certain situations. So for example, this Super Sculpey that I'm using, it only hardens if you heat it up. However, I'm using a heat gun to make sure that it hardens. So this is perfect when it comes to accessories such as weapons or anything else that you just want to make and then glue on. For example, in this tutorial, I used this clay to make the Bowser shell that is in the back. And then I also used this to make her ponytail, just because it was a lot easier to make it off of the base and then just glue it on. I will link both of these clays directly to Amazon so you can just put it in your cart and check out. Again, it depends on your preference, so make sure you do your research on different types of clay. I'll also include various different types of tools that I use. However, it's funny because I feel like your fingernails are probably the best tools that you have, that or even a toothpick. You don't really need to spend so much money on tools. However, if you feel more confident and comfortable using those tools, I will link them down below in the description for you. There are various different types of polymer clay, so Super Sculpey is a polymer clay, and again, you'll need to heat it up in order for it to harden. So instead of just preheating the oven just to heat up two small items, all I used is a heat gun and I will of course link that down below in the description. It is very useful when having to use polymer clay. Whenever it comes to actually making anything for the figurines, make sure that the size is proportional to the body or whatever you decide to make. You don't want it to be too small or too large. When it comes to attaching any of those items, I tend to use super glue and then I'll go back and add the cement clay, which is the two part resin. It is so much sturdier than polymer clay, so I use that to reinforce it just in case it might break later on. All right, so this is the step right before you start painting, so make sure you've attached every single detail possible. Use reference pictures, it helps so much. Keep in mind for Bowset, it was more of fan art, so I really loved making Bowset just because I can do whatever I wanted and be super creative. You can too. You'll notice at the end of this video I added some gems. Let me know if you happen to try to make this custom amiibo or any nerdy DIY. I would love to see pictures and share it with everyone. I will feature it in the next video as well. All right, so we're pretty much at the last step, which is of course painting. And when it comes to painting any figurine, it's pretty much the same. There are certain tips that you do want to follow. So one tip is adding as many layers as possible. But in between those layers, make sure that you water it down. It allows you to paint with a smooth surface and it doesn't leave any brush strokes. So it looks really, really clean. So once again, just be patient and add those layers, and then when you're ready, go ahead and start adding detail. So the first thing you're gonna do is definitely add that base color. I tend to go with darker colors, and then I'll add the highlights later. All right guys, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. It really does help me out as an artist, 
And if you guys help me out, I can definitely give away a lot more of my DIYs and custom Amiibo. So definitely check out the links down below as well. My Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and most importantly, Patreon. If you are a Patreon, of course you have all the rewards. So check it out. You guys get monthly DIYs from me, including custom Amiibo. So of course, don't forget to check that out and subscribe. I will definitely be giving this away for sure. So stay updated. Thanks again for watching till the end. Let me know what you guys think of Bowset. I think it'd be really cool to have this skin in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Special shout out to Kuroko for the amazing fan art that I used on the box art. Thank you so much for your support, and I will definitely see you next time.